the lovely smell of all that's a fun <laughs> finally something that gets my blood pumping The way you fought really makes my heart race. Such power, such vitality. Ugh, oh, I wish I were the one dancing this deadly, bloody, beautiful waltz with you. I wanted to help you up. I was just overwhelmed with joy. <sighs> You're on the edge of overclocking, and you were in a medical pod before. Does this happen often? Yeah. Oh, are you worried about me? I'm almost blushing. And I'm good at dancing on the edge. I won't let myself overclock that easily. But if it does happen, I'll just accept it as my fate. It's very dangerous. You know the risks, right? Of course I do. But once severe overclocking symptoms appear, they can't be cured, can they? And I'm happy. It's been a blast competing and taking down those tacit discords with you. That's all I need to have a good time. If one day I die from overclocking, so be it. The Black Shores will make sure there's no tacit field generated from me. I've always followed my instincts, ignored anything that didn't interest me. No regrets, even if I died now. Carpe diem! Enjoy the moment! Life is boring if you're stuck in the past or consumed by the future. Anyway, what have you found? I got a stack of damaged photos. To locate that stellar matrix, we'll need three or four items tops. The remaining frequencies. Yes. It belongs to Lady Flora. It's been almost 20 years since the last frequencies were recorded. Lake blooms represent a bloom bearer's identity. They always have one on them. These frequencies can help us track Lady Flora's last activity. She and the leader of Black Shores vanished at the same time, no longer appearing in records. 
around the same time. The two cases might be connected. Oh, right. I just remembered what that strange feeling I had earlier was. When I saw you in Jinjo, it felt as if I'd seen you somewhere else before. Anyway, have you told Beatrice that we're ready? How impressive! That's fast! Please head to the modulation hall. I'll meet you there. Bloombera, please give me the things you just found. Oh, you want to come along? She begged me to go with her, and it looked fun, so I agreed. Well, that's rare. The Camellia I know was only interested in going out to find candidates. Bloombera, kudos to you for being able to get her to cooperate with you. Awesome. <laughs> that's quite a confident statement, but... You do have the skills to back it up. With Camellia on this mission with you, you should be safer. Don't worry, I'll be keeping a close eye on you. Hold on, I need some time to process the data. Once that's done, you can dive into the Stella Matrix with our portal. Past, present, future? All the possibilities in the universe change within this swirling, starry sky. I'm starting to get a bit interested. What kind of me is hidden in there? Let's go! A new adventure awaits! Camellia. I'll catch. Then meet me. What happened, Camellia? Communication cut out. Something must have happened. Got separated from Camellia. I should check out the surroundings. I've sealed my memories. Letting the past fade into nothingness. Did I make the right choice? But she has already made her choice. Now I must make my own choice too. <laughs> I'd rather die than live as a useless nobody. Is that Camellia? No. I'm inside a stellar matrix that holds Lady Flora's information. So it must be a simulation of some past event. Many years have passed and here I am again. 
But I'm not gonna stay at the Black Shores and live off old memories. Oh, my body's giving out. Need a place to rest soon. Camellia's illusion disappeared. Since she mentioned sealed her memories and returned, this must be the cave from twenty. Did Camellia seal her memories because of my choice? Bluebear, can you hear me? Something's not right. I'll get you out of the Stellar Matrix first. I'm sorry. That Matrix is more cunning than we anticipated. My mistake. Camellia is still inside that stellar Matrix. She was trapped inside and started to sink deeper. That's why you couldn't go any further. Besides, Camellia has found the Matrix core. Without her, it might have escaped again. Now, we'll create a symmetrical stellar Matrix, and that will allow you to reach the previously inaccessible areas. There will be various simulated areas. To reach the destination, you need to find and jump to the correct timeline junctures. Due to a mutated stellar matrix, you may not reach the destination in one go. Multiple jumps might be required to get there. Please... This recording mentioned a few survivors from the tacit discord outbreak, but in this Petalfall village, the situation here seems to differ from my timeline. It's locked. So, Camellia, in her overclocked state, damaged the locked door's security system when her mind was unclear. The mutated plants have grown so large. Camellia in this timeline has severely overclocked.
Camellia disappeared. Lady Flora once overclocked so much that her mind was heavily damaged, and her language abilities degenerated. Then, the Camellia I know... I'm back on the surface of the Black Shores Island. I should go look around. It's really you. Heard I can find the Black Shores here. Glad I didn't come to the wrong place. I'm Camellia. Or call me Lady Flora if you want. People from Petalfall Village like to call me that. You left in such a hurry. We didn't even get a chance to talk. I felt... off. Like I missed out on something important, so I came here alone to find you. How's the situation in Petalfall Village? The injured have been transferred to other nearby villages. Most of the villagers are safe and sound, thanks to your timely rescue. Most of the villagers are safe. And with the way Camellia looks now, it seems I'm in an alternate timeline again. But even if the history has changed, we still met each other. You're the Blackshore's leader, aren't you? Yes. I... I snuck in here. But please don't drive me out. I have my own forte now. I can work for you. I... don't know. Those consultants said my Rebel's test showed I awakened my forte. But in the village, I didn't feel anything special. And I don't remember anything before coming to the village. Yes. Villagers said I appeared in the woods by their lake one autumn morning. That's all I remember. Didn't have anywhere else to go, so I stayed in that village. Can I stay with you here? At the Black Shores? I... I want to serve you. Make me your bloom bearer. Huh. Join us if you pass the assessment. The Black Shores welcomes those who protect the world. Great. But... I... I still don't know your name. Tell me, please. It's a beautiful name. I'll never forget it. I'm so happy. Really, really happy that my vines feel so light. How strange. This is our first formal conversation, but it feels like I had heard your name before. Look, this is my forte. I quite like it. I want to shadow you. See how a strong person like you moves forward. This flower is for you. I'm looking forward to the days ahead.
Oh, it's you. Done with the work? You should get some rest. I've been super well behaved these past few days. Did everything as you said. Didn't cause any trouble or go to places I shouldn't. You need some discipline, robot. How dare you interrupt my conversation with her? You want to know the situation in Petalfall Village? I can tell you. I was there, remember? It's been... a few months since the Tacit Discords attacked the village. I turned into a flower tree due to overclocking, and trapped those feeble creatures in an underground cave. Kuriri's recording mentioned that Kanalia was found in an underground cave. Looks like this time I jumped to the right juncture. Oh, I threw them out of the village when I started transforming. They would have died if they stayed. Not many survived, but some did. They managed to hold on until you showed up and they guided you to find me. What a surprise. Thought they'd run away when I threw them out. I have no interest in those crybabies, but since they took me in for a while, I owed them a favor. <laughs> That's a cute way to put it. What? I'm speaking from my heart. I don't want to spare a glance at those weaklings. I despise weaklings, myself included. I was a sorry sap when I turned into that plant. But you saved me. You pulled me out of overclocking and brought me back to sanity. I should thank you. I don't remember anything before I arrived in that village. I don't care anyway. You're the only one who's ever made me feel so excited. So, how about making me your bloom bearer? You see, who else can keep me from causing trouble elsewhere? Right? Making me yours exactly aligns with the interests of Solaris, and as you just said, would make the world a safer place. Just so you know, when I was doing the Rebel test, the staff said I'm still prone to overclocking. I may have great power now, but I might lose it or fall prey to my emotions again someday. If that day comes, then I'll embrace Embrace it as my destiny. Fate's already brought us together, and I'll pay any cost for that. It's led me to the most exquisite flower in this world. I'll give anything for it, no hesitation. Did you know? Climbing plants are obsessed with big, gorgeous trees. Clinging on to them like their life depends on it. Sucking up all the energy they can get from the sun. They're driven by an insatiable hunger to savor their beloved tree. Down to the last bit. One day, we'll have plenty of time together. You can definitely, rigorously, train me! <laughs> this flower is for you.
to express my... It's the correct timeline gesture. Initiating jump now. little troublemaker is clever, having set all these traps. But now its core is cornered here. It can't run any further. I can handle it easily when I find it. It's a pity I got separated from her. I wish she could see what I just saw in those alternative timelines. Can't wait to see her reactions. If I hadn't returned to the Black Shores and become a Bloom Bearer again, it was still possible for us to reunite. I saw it. Whether as a wandering traveler or as a Fraxidus member, I got to meet her anyway. I've sealed my memories. Letting the past fade into nothingness. Did I make the right choice? Is that... me? They said this Matrix contains Lady Flora's information, so... This must be something I had experienced in the past. Sealed memories... And this cave... This is where I first awoke. Seems like this is what Lady Flora last saw before she decided to seal her memories. But she has already made her choice. Now I must make my own choice too. <sighs> I'd rather die than live as a useless nobody. So I knew her before. <laughs> That's it. She's a magnet for all kinds of fun. Now let's see what else we can stir up. Guess I'd better not use my forte, or I'd be at a disadvantage when she catches up later. Is it a flower seed on the base? Flower is craving a flower seed. Guess I should place a seed there to unlock the gate. <laughs> As I expected. Flower Seed has unveiled the hidden path. <laughs> this space seems to defy its creator's will to aid me. illusion is ahead. <laughs> if this is indeed the final moments before you sealed your memories, let me find out the- let me see why you made that choice. A 
After all these years, she still made that choice. I never asked her much about the Black Shores or her past. I didn't care. As long as we were both happy when we crossed blades, I was happy. But now she wants to leave, and even abandon her memories? Doing all of this for what? A so-called better outcome? <laughs> for the Black Shores, a better future must mean saving Solaris. I don't care about that at all. Why? Why do I have to lose my only beloved playmate, my most cherished opponent? Here at the Black Shores, she's the most trapped one by far. Hmm. Is this an illusion from the past? Looks like I used to be quite sentimental. Though I had this guess well in the previous junctures, she was indeed the former Black Shores leader. <laughs> My rebel index has worsened. The doctors and the shorekeeper said I need rest. <laughs> they mean well, but I know myself better. Rest won't help. I've lost my anchor. She's no longer here to rein me in. I've started remembering things from before I came to Petalfall Village. Huh. Was our encounter there a gift from fate? Or a curse? But now, thinking about the past will only make my overclocking worse. She's gone. I can choose to wait. But will she really return? What if I'm already dead by then? What if I never see her again? Dead is dead. It means the end. There's no point in imagining all this. Fearing loneliness and death. These emotions are so unfamiliar. So strange. The lovely smell of all my prey. Let's have fun! Uh-uh! Rafting! Supper! Crooning! Crimson! Blossom! <laughs> My chest feels so tight, and I feel a little unwell. I must be affected by the environment. My body and emotions are... This stellar matrix is starting to fight back. I'd better hurry up and take it down.
murder! Entertain me! Even with treatment, I'll barely be able to maintain my current state. But constant overclocking and forced corrections will ruin me in the end. I can feel my energy and power draining away day by day. Huh. Even if she one day returns, what will I be able to do for her? Trapped in my body, needing her pity for love and attention. If that's how I'll end up, I'd rather die on the spot. I will never become a pitiful weakling like that. My body, it's acting up again. Is it the surroundings? <laughs> Why am I always held back by overclocking? Damn it. It's time to go. To where I met her. It will be closure for me. For this cherished connection. I'll leave the bracelet she gave me here in the Black Shores. I can't just sit here and rot away, clinging to old memories. There is... another way to keep overclocking from eating me inside out. A way to control my emotions. Stop the past from haunting me. A way to forget it all. I will abandon my memories like she once did. Sealing them away. Sanity is a gift from her. I will not give it up that easily. I am one and the same with my instincts. Like flowers thirst for water, and beasts hunger for flesh. With or without my memories, my instincts will still guide me to her. When we meet again, I hope she remains my worthy opponent. Friends or foes, united and unbound. It's a dream come true. Indeed, that's the choice I would make. I will bloom to my fullest, follow my desires, till the end of it all.